Hello and welcome back to another episode of European Autocraft 944 Turbo Restoration Project. Uh, if you remember Anthony, he's back. He's all grown up. Uh, just back from his Australian trip. Uh, kangaroo fighting, I think, is your hobby, right? Your sport? Yeah. It's fun? Yeah. You get your butt kicked or no? No. Those kangaroos are tough. Not for you, though. Anyways. Back in the last video, you saw us on Fifth Avenue uh, checking out all those really cool cars. I want you to go back and take a look at the Bugatti, the black Bugatti towards the end at the exit, and slow the frame down and see if you can see who's driving that car. I think I know who it is, but I'm not sure. So go back and take a look at that. And at the end of this video, we got a, a nice Ferrari we're working on here, one of our regular customers. That car... Um, is kind of rare we don't see too many of them around we'll show you that towards the end do a little walk around that so you get to see it i'm not sure how long this is going to take we're going to disassemble the front struts and uh, get these conies ready to go out for uh, to get looked at from coney they'll check them make sure they're okay if not we'll get them rebuilt so we're going to get started on uh, getting these apart we're going to do them both simultaneously well no not really we're going to do this one then that one but each operation we'll do to the other one well, you'll see how it goes. Anyways. So, first thing is the uh, air brake duct. And that all set up for... A little activity outside there. I don't know if you can hear the fire trucks. Hope they're not coming for you. We have absolutely gotten nowhere on getting our wiring done and getting this compressor running and everything else. So we're still far behind on that with all the work in the shop, but we're going to get there. And we'll straighten all these out and clean them up. All right, strut. Let's see. This is also where the alignment takes place. I'll show you that on the other side. Well, I can show you now. We have uh, one eccentric here, eccentric, eccentric, which one? I forget which. One's a crazy person and one is, one is something that's not quite the same as the other. <laughs> Anyways, so this is the adjustment bolt here, you see the stop. We're not going to worry about where it goes, everything is going to be new so we can get all these adjustments back um, during the alignment. Who knows what this is going to look like when we get to that point. So these are 17. These are 19. Let's see if they come off. I soaked them a little bit in penetrating oil. So we'll see what happens. You going to be able to hold that, Mr. Tough Guy? Oh, my gosh. I was originally going to use the impact gun, but the caliper's in the way. So I could take the caliper off. Might have to. Maybe I don't need the right stuff yet. There we go. He's a tough guy now, huh? Mm. Kangaroo fighting in Australia. How do you afford all these trips on your salary? You want to try it? Gee. And now you know why we haven't had him on in a long time. All right. See, the head of the bolt is also uh, offset. So when we rotate it, it can shift this in and out for camera adjustment. Parts nicely stored in our little Chinese food containers, or takeout food containers. Not necessarily Chinese food. 
Okay, pull the strut off of there. Okay, now, we originally wanted to take the springs off, but if you look at this, this is the adjustment for the damping action, and this is a 22 millimeter nut, and then there's some flats here that we can hold it with a wrench. I don't have the tool, there's a special wrench that goes down on here and leaves the top open so I can access this to hold it. You might be tempted to put an impact gun on it and blast that nut off. Over time, if you keep doing it, it will come off, but in the meantime, we're gonna end up damaging inside the shock. I don't have the tool, we're gonna to get it, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that just yet. So, you'll see that in another. You can place that somewhere safe. You look so enthusiastic about it. Anywhere is fine. Uh, 14 minutes. It's going to get this old hose out of the way. You want to hold on to that for me? I don't have the new hoses, so I'm not going to throw these away until I have the new ones in hand. I might want to take the spiral wrap off if the new hose doesn't have it. Uh, now, let's see. This I can use a gun on. shims. Oh, yeah. oh look, more spider eggs. We can make soup. Hmm. More soup, I should say. You won't eat it? My soup is always good. Um, we need to get this off of the caliber, but it's stuck pretty well. I should have thought about that. I don't have a tool I need. I will be right back. Two methods. I can either pry it off or I can try to pinch these um, pads back to compress the, compress the pistons, but I don't want to mark up these with the pliers, so we're going to try this first. Even though these will be going on and get cleaned up and powder coated, and the less damage we do, the better. Grab a hold of that. Not so bad. I thought it was going to be worse. All right. We'll throw in the pile with the other calipers. Pretty easy to tell which is left and right, front and rear, with the uh, size of the piston, so I'm not too worried about that. All right. Let's do this one now. Same routine. Heat shield. I call it a heat shield. This is an air duct, not a heat shield. Why didn't you correct me? Why didn't you correct me? You know all about this stuff. All right, there, you can put that one in there. All right, this side now. Uh, here we go. Do you want to do it this time since you're much, so much stronger than me? No. I should be using a bigger. Ratchet. Sorry, bin, 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 bin. bin. Yeah. Boy, genius. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, let's get the gym tomorrow. Removal. Go ahead. All right. These are just the brake pad sensors. Sometimes you can save them. Brake hose. I've just been doing all this without you. I don't know. Press 
pretzel for you. And we'll do the same thing. We'll just blast these off. I love the assistant. Well, that's a good sign that the pistons are actually collapsing. Probably going to get shot with fluid though here, so let's do it this way. of calipers. We'll get to these uh, in another episode. I'm not sure when. Uh, we'll get these all taken apart, send them out to the powder coater. I still want to go to original black. Maybe I can do it without the owner knowing. We'll Alright, now <clears throat> we're going to separate the rotor from the spindle. I have to get this cap off. I have an aluminum dowel I use. It's, easy, it's very difficult to do on the car this way, but on the bench here, I can knock these off without damaging them with this aluminum dowel. I want to get the best angle we can on it. And I'll rotate. And there's no no damage, so that is a universal. Doesn't matter. All right, now the these are very interesting. The uh, okay, this way, this way. They have a little pinch bolt that pinches the. Uh, Securing nut for the bearing, in turn holds the rotor all together. Loosen that, just spin that right off of there. Yeah, pretty good shape. Of course, they'll all be replaced, but they look good. And the rotor should come off. There we are. I say should because you never know with this car. That's that. Uh, what? I'm going to separate the hub from the um, rotor, and I could probably just scrap the rotor because these things are easy to come by. Hoses and stuff, I want to take a measurement, make sure we get the right size. The rotors are pretty much the same. So we'll take that off as well, but let me get rid of this heat shield first. Don't go too far with that. He went really too far with that. I really wanted it right here. Kids. For some reason, these are 11 millimeter heads, which would indicate that they're 7 millimeter bolts. Yeah, these look like 7 millimeter. Fascinating. Oh, those are yours. And these were yellow CAD plated, so these will get replated in the yellow. That's one side. Oh, and these will get powder coated. Uh, black. That's for you. Too. Next, same thing. We'll knock the cap off. All righty, cap number two. here if I can find my socket here we go okay to remove the rotor what do I pay you for okay and there's our spindle pinch bolt for the uh, lower ball joint which we're going to look at too these had uh, control arm issues where the ball joints would uh, wear out and you get replacement ball joints for them 
Uh, I've done them a couple of times, not real happy with the way they come out with the snap ring. And it just seems, maybe I just had a bad one, I don't know. So we'll look into the control arm issue. I think there's probably something better out there by now for these cars. But that's it for this taken apart. Uh, we'll get all these cleaned up in the parts cleaner and get these powder coated as well as uh, getting these cleaned up. My plating tank's not big enough for these, so we're going to have to come up with another type of tank that I can use uh, to fit these in there and get a good uh, transfer of metal for those. You notice on my left here, there's transmissions for an MGB outside there, a little red MGB. Well, we finally got the transmission back together. Look at how big it is for such a little car. We have the um, overdrive unit on here. I didn't test it, we cleaned it out, it all looks good. So we'll put it in the car and hopefully that works. Because if not, the whole engine transmission has to come out again. Just a little tidbits of what we're working on. Now let's show you that Ferrari. It's a 2009 599. Uh, we're in for some service work and a little touch up on the front bumper. I don't want to touch the car because I'm dirty, but let's take a look around. It's a really unique, unique car. Uh, there's a badge on the driver's side that uh, gives a little bit of history about this model. We have the front bumper off, but uh, beautiful car. Very big car. Well, that's it for today. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. And don't forget to go back to the other video and look at that Bugatti. Uh, you have to slow it down. I did. We slowed it down to see who was driving it. And I think, I think I'm right on who it is. But you take a look and you tell me. But thanks for watching. Uh, European Autocraft Studios, 944 Turbo Project, amongst other projects here, which we'll be eventually getting to, uh, to show during the week. Uh, Saturdays is uh, my 944 crowd, which I really appreciate you watching. Subscribe, like, keep watching. We're doing great on the, uh, on the rankings coming up. Uh, we hit our 4,000 mark for our uh, hours watched, and we're 829 now, I think, subscribers. So keep up the good work. We'll see you next week. Thanks.